Karloff in The Ape. So we had Raymond Burr in that movie, Boris Karloff in this one, and um, Bela Lugosi in the third one. That's not bad. That's not a bad night. <laughs> I have no idea about this one either. I sort of have an idea of the next one because it's a Karloff movie, but, um, you know, I think that's supposed to simulate blood, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, hey, you know what? We can't, we can't ape shame, okay? You might be trying to be a trans ape. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> let's. Let's bring up, uh, I think this is 1938. Um, <laughs> yeah, really? Wait, I now I feel bad. I should wait for Kirok to come back since he missed most of the last movie. Um, what is, I? you know, I don't even, I should see if this one is in English. Oh, I can't do that though because of the VOD later. <laughs> Come on, Kirok. You know what? I'm just going to pot it up. I'm sure he's not going to miss a major plot point <laughs> in the ape. So, yeah. The ape. Not to be confused with the next film, The Ape Man. <laughs> All right. So you get to see the the sauce how I do all this because I'm just I have to bring up the damn window. I didn't have time to figure out what the fuck was going on. All right, Monarch Film Corporation presents Boris Karloff in the Ape. It's got our dumb hop in charge of protection. <laughs> Why do I feel like we're in a wait, is this a circus movie? Wow, that clown image has been everywhere. Suggested from the play by Adam Cole Shirk. Adaptation by Kurt Siodmak. Why does this sound like the Simpsons opening theme? Now I know this is um not as much a horror movie as it is kind of a weird spooky movie. Ooh, Gertrude Gertrude W. Hoffman. <laughs> Whoa, and we are immediately shut down by Ringing Brothers. <laughs> News item, city littering reaches all-time high. <laughs> Welcome back, Kira. Well, boys. Got any old tires you don't want? Only old tires I got, I'm riding on. We got enough money to go to the circus, but not enough for the sideshow. <laughs> Save your money. Plenty of freaks around here. Just look in the mirror, kid. You did not miss anything, Garrock. Just the... Hey, you think they got all the things they say they have? Sure, the man told us. That they ain't got no lions. They have to. The man let us see him. He did? Yeah, they carnies never kids. lie. Sure they have, long as anything. Let you and me go see him. You can go ahead. We're going swimming. Say, we're going past Doc Adrian's house, ain't we? Sure. I believe these boys are planning a heist. What is this guy, shit gold or something? We gone right by the front of the house? Sure. What's the matter, you scared? I ain't scared of no crazy doctor. Well, if you're coming, come on. Wait, wait, you see, it's this way. If I don't get home for dinner, what? Mom won't let me go to the circus. All right, so you're afraid. Well, you yeah. better stay here. Pussy, pussy, pussy. 
Wait, what happened to the fourth kid? Oh, there he is. Whoa, you little shits broke a window. Uh-oh. It's the Wicked Witch of the West after a gender reassignment surgery. Come on, Chief, look, he's got Willie. Wait, you let him go? Hey, his case was on the ground in the last one. Affected my anti children venom. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got PETA on line two. <laughs> you never experiment me on me, right, boss? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about all these dogs. <laughs> Will you ever unsew my mouth? I can't understand why they don't do something about Doc Adrian. Destroying like all the values in this town, giving Red Creek a bad name. I think so. You're right, Mason. He ought to have been run out of this town a long time ago. Who wow, that guy looks like he's Doc perpetually Adrian. chewing on a lemon. You with us this afternoon. He scared the women so bad they haven't got over it yet. Yeah. <laughs> this <town's laughs> stupid women. Maybe he's carrying himself a couple of patients. <laughs> Understand them big doctors make a lot of money on nervous women. Wasn't well, so funny when that epidemic what? broke out, Quinn. <laughs> Here we go you know, again. As well as I do, he used a lot of those patients as guinea pigs. I know nothing of the sort. I know he did everything he could. Two or three in this town who wouldn't agree to that. However, I can understand his reason for want of patience now. Well, he got himself another this afternoon. <laughs> Little Willie over there. Yeah, he did brain surgery on me. <laughs> he ran after me, hurt me, and I wasn't doing nothing. Poor child. I think you're all yellow. She's right. And then you got the courage Wait, why is to do the one kid on it. crutches? His patients die on him. And now he's hanging around Miss Clifford's house experimenting she, with Francis, I hey guess. Hey, kid, why don't you, you bend over and take a critic, good hard draft of that cigarette smoke? Good. You doing preaching? Little preaching wouldn't do you no harm. What with the people you squeeze dry and the usury you charge on your loans? Oh, I don't ask him to borrow. I guess there's an answer for that also. But I think it'd be wasted on wow. you. Wow, I could make this a student loan joke. Business is business, Quinn, and you know it. <laughs> Besides, uh... We weren't talking about me. Why don't we kick the doctor out and be done with it? I'm ready any time you're willing to start it. I'm telling you now, I want that Dr. Hare here as much as I want a Guinness. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, that uh, prescription. I'll fill it in a second. Been quite busy this morning. I'll fill it my damn self. I'm sorry to delay you, doctor. It's perfectly all right. I can fix it myself. It's, it's none of my business, and... Maybe we men of science think different from other people, but uh, if Should you be making your own medicine? Doing, you mean about the animals? Yes, some of the dogs have been missed. Well, that phase of the experiment is all over. I've yeah. found out all I need to know. Can I help you? If you think they need you in the store? Just as you say, Doctor, just as you say. I'll be sure to be happy to leave you back here with my unlimited supply of medication. Tell by the way I use my walk on a ladies' man. No time to talk. That's good. Enjoying the last of the sun, huh? Oh, a doctor. doctor. Sit down. Thank you. Ah. Oh, how's my girl today? Oh, you're all dressed up. Danny phoned. He's coming over. So early? We can't come tonight. He's going to the circus. Oh, oh yes. The she dressed up I for the kid? I almost forgot. I've got a present for you, Francis. Oh, for me, doctor? Well, now, don't get too excited. Just oh. wait till you open it. It's, uh, it anal beads. <laughs> of course, oh, you can't feel Roger. them, but... Oh, it's beautiful. But why so much, Doctor? You gave me a birthday present last month. So I did. Well, this is a make-believe uh. birthday, just as you're my make-believe daughter. Oh, daughter. Is she very like me? She'd have been just 18 today. Of course, she, she could walk, so you're a bit of a downgrade. 
I couldn't save her and I couldn't save our mother. I hadn't the weapons to fight the disease that killed them, but I have now, or at least I've got a knowledge of them. Ten years it's taken me. Francis, you are going to walk again. You're so intense, you frighten me sometimes. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> so Danny's going to the circus, huh? Yes. Then he's coming back here afterwards and tell me all about it. Oh, he is, is he? Well, why don't you go with him? Oh, me? Do oh, you think she you're could? Fooling. No, well, I don't think the circus could. has uh, um, handicapped ramps Hello, yet. Uh, oh, Danny! Oh, Danny. Hello, Mrs. Clifford. Well, Danny, how would you like to take Frances to the circus? Well, gee, that'd be great, only... Well, of course she can go. We can take care of her. I'll be back for you later. Oh, thanks, Doctor. Now, don't you worry, Mrs. Clifford. Two strong men to look after her. She'll be all right. Be back later. Bye, Doctor. Danny, I think so you where are you finding the other strong man, Doctor? You look as if you'd brought all of the grease from the garage with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty well lubed up. You know, Francis, I think the Doc's crazy. I suppose I'll have to like him as long as he's nice to you. He wants to be nice to everybody, but people won't let him. Well, I'm not saying I believe all the things. That... Don't you believe any of the things they say about him, Danny Foster? Well, all right, don't get excited. Don't use my last name in public. The stories they tell about the doctor are just as dirty as the grease on your hands and face. Well, that about takes care of me. So long, honey. Goodbye, Danny. Um, should I be left alone out here? I'll just wheel myself back to the house. I... The necklace is nice, but I'd really like a new spine. You quit chrome by accident? Jesus. And a graphic depiction of how she lost her leg. She's a relay. Stay with the doc. Don't let it throw you. Careful. There you are. I don't... Uh, no, this is... No! Oh, yes. All right. Right. Okay. No! No! Where's the tailgate this on this time thing? Next year it'll take three men to lift you. Oh, not three men, Doctor. If it did, they'd want to keep me in the circus. Hop in, Doc. Oh, no. You can get somebody else at the circus to help you lift her down. What's Wait, the matter? Aren't you what? Coming? No, you two go on by yourself. Oh. Now, you don't mind if I change my mind, do you? Oh, please, Doctor. You'll have much more fun together. Off you go. And don't forget to tell me all about it in the morning. So long, we Doc. Won't. Thanks for everything. Goodbye, Doctor. Bye. Goodbye, I Mother. Hope I hope they put a wood shot. Oh, oh, the doctor's trying to get the mother alone. Oh, come, come, come now. This is no time for tears. This is I time to it. come, I come, come. Ah, nonsense. <laughs> Change will do it a world of good. Good night. Good night. Apparently so. <laughs> that they didn't have wheel locks back then. <laughs> yeah, well, paying for tickets is for squares. Oh, the gorilla. Did you really see him? Yeah, in the sideshow. He's a big fella. Is he bigger than three men? That ape? That ape is bigger than six men. Six big men. He's the biggest ape gorilla in the whole world. Look, here come the clowns. Oh. Look! Here come those gonna haunt our nightmares! Having a good time? Yes. I don't know. You don't act like it. Gee, everybody's looking at us. I'm nervous. What for? Well, out with a married man and, you know. Well, if my wife would suck dick like you, I'd bring her to the damn circus. It's the best circus I ever saw. The only circus I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flying Graysons! <laughs> Get him while the hop! Grace Hook! Alright, officer. Really? He just shines that badge and they just give him shit for free, really? Get out of the walkway, you little shit burger.
That Isn't is some fucking lovely? trust. She's so graceful. Ah, she's not so hot. I saw her pass in the garage this morning. Them costumes make a big difference. I don't know why. It looks like they filmed it in a little slow. doctor now. called muscular grace. Muscular coordination. Uh, honey, look over that ring there. See? I think he wanted to step on the kid's nuts. Uh oh. There you are. You're all right now. You'll be chasing bones in the morning. <laughs> After I break your neck. What I've done for you, I could do for men. They let me. But enough of that. Let's get back to the surface. Look at all these people just getting up and walking out of the circus. I hate them. <laughs> That's all, honey. I'm sorry it's over. We'll never miss another circus. You're going to be saying that on our wedding night, too, aren't you? <laughs> so I'm assuming she has polio or something. Playing Old Lang Syne. You know, we are 14 minutes into this movie and we ain't seen an ape yet. Ordinarily, I wouldn't complain, but it is ape night. Oh no. Well, we've seen an ape now. What are you trying to do? Come on, the, the bars crazy? on the door clearly. Well, he's getting mean. Fell over. It's the only way I can handle him. Did you ever try a little kindness? Nothing wrong with him? Nabu. Come here, Nabu, old boy. Come on, Nabu. That's it. Yeah, well, two Wait a minute, ago, he's he from the brew? Oh, no. Is he Char Char? I know he did. I was right here when he did it. Because he was abusing them, same as you're doing. If you don't watch your stuff, he'll get you, too. Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> oh no! What a revolting development this is! You boys wouldn't be gambling. I believe this uh, movie uh, is uh, just V8. <laughs> That was a fine show you fellas put on. You was the funniest clown I ever seen. Oh, I rode a horse. He was a clown. He was? Yeah. Oh, he looks like a judge. <laughs> I don't think that that cage was regulation. Hey, Jim, Pete, let's give him a hand. Come on. Were there sins made out of kerosene? Wait, did the ape carry him out of the fire to save his life, or was the ape just doing a body swap? And the award for cinematography. <laughs> Doctor Adrian, get something to put him on. We'll take him there. Get him on, man. Somebody better get it's him. It's a curious idea to give him the Irish accent. I was going to say, we hadn't seen the elephant. Sorry to bother you, Doctor. Bring him in here. Come on, right here with him. 
An ape got him. An ape? Hope it scared him off. How do they know that? And badly more. Well, you better get him into my laboratory. Jane, you show them. Ah! Poor Jane doesn't have any speaking voice. Well, how did it happen? Was he in the cage with the ape? No, the circus burned down and the ape escaped. The circus burned down? Ape escaped? <laughs> and the audience? They'd all gone home. Oh, thank heaven for that. Uh, will you want us any further, Doctor? No, I'll take care of it. Well, then, come on, boys. Let's get out and see if we you can You know, find we all think this guy is a quack, but let's leave this poor defenseless man with him and go home. There's a Guinness with no name on it. <laughs> Don't let him get at me, mister. Don't let him get at me. Perfectly safe here. Yeah. I'm a doctor. Oh. I'm a hurt bad doc. I'm afraid, sir. I don't feel it. Am I gonna die? Welcome back. I'll have to die sometime. <laughs> See, it is. Oh, just don't let me the die. kind of animal. Doc, your bedside manner kind of sucks. Hey, Doc. What are you going to do with me? I'm going to write you into medical history. I'm going to keep a promise. <laughs> Oh, uh, you mean you're going to keep the Hippocratic Oath, right? And Wait here. Do no harm. Keep your eyes open. That sheriff ain't got no heart. I'm so hungry I could eat hay. Ooh, there's a barn full. Help yourself. But once again, I'm having trouble discerning the time. <laughs> Another, what was it in movies in this era? They thought spinal fluid cured like everything. They thought they were like stem cells. <laughs> George, you take your fellas and search the country up around Carter's farm. Jim, you take your boys and cover the west side of town. <laughs> Dude, Pete, we just you saw what me. a fire can do, and you just threw your cigarette in the corner. Let the circus people do their own work. Why should we do it for them? But the circus is burned down. They've had trouble enough. Oh, that's their tough luck. Well, if we don't find that ape, our own people might get hurt. That's your job. Your law and order. And why should I worry about other people? They don't this worry about me. guy's kind of a posse blocker. You wouldn't be a little bit scared, would you, miss? <laughs> well, don't be all day about it. We're ready. He gives a body the creeps to think of that critter roaming around. Better keep the doors and windows all barred. And keep your hysterical we'll female asses next. out of our posse. Are you all right, dear? Mm-hmm. Want mm -hmm. some more? What you thinking about? The fire. I was thinking about that wonderful woman aerialist I saw last night. It was glorious. Oh, here comes Dr. Adrian. Good morning, Mrs. Griffith. Good morning. Francis. Oh, good morning, Dr. Adrian. I want to thank you again for the Yo, wonderful Adrian. time I had last night. <laughs> Are you going to fix my Too spine or what? Trainer, wasn't it? <laughs> Now, don't you think about him. <laughs> this is the most important day in your life. Today, we are really going to start her cure. I found the serum that I need. I'm going to walk, Dr. Adrian. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't promise I things like so. that. Okay, I hope so. That's not bad for an evening. I'm not just doctor. thinking about you, Francis, but of all the other sufferers in the world, all the little boys and girls who can't go out into the sunshine and all the and play fucking and money I'm going to make with this serum. Who have to spend their lives in a wheelchair like you. I'll do anything I can, Dr. Adrian. I know you will, my dear. It's not going to be easy. Bitch, all you gotta do is take a step. <laughs> but when it hurts, don't be afraid. Just remember that when the pain is gone, it'll leave... It'll leave new life behind. But I can't huh? feel pain, sir. I think we'd better get her ready. All right, Doctor. Ah, uh, yes, I've got a selection of bone saws. <laughs> Now we've got them here and there, and 
Got here. them damn near now, everywhere. If we don't get any results tonight, we'll start in here and work west. Oh, change your mind, Mr. Mason? I never changed my mind. You gotta I have never even changed my underwear. That's enough out of you. Here's that dispossessed notice on Wilcox. I want to serve tonight. We're busy tonight. It'll wait till tomorrow. Your duty is to take care of the citizens of this town. Not fooling around chasing apes. It seems you're in a mighty big hurry to make people uncomfortable, Mason. It's my business what I do. Fine, and it's mine what I do. We'll yeah. get to this when we have time. No. Good night. Oh, Very good. Well, Francis? Oh, my legs. What? They feel like lead. I can't lift them. But you never could lift them. Oh, I know, could. but I never felt them before. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, gonna say. you feel them, Francis? You feel them? They're so heavy. Well, that's good news, my dear. That's She's what we're not heavy. For. She's my legs. But it's only just the beginning. Soon your arms will feel like legs. There's any change. <laughs> like lead. You <laughs> send for me immediately. Yes, Doctor. Oh, Mother. Jane. Doctor, you, you never mentioned how bad Jane. incontinence felt. <laughs> Jane! Stop this crazy thing. Look, I succeeded. It's there. Life, life in that tiny bottle. It's working. No. The child will walk again. <laughs> you are the dumbest doctor ever. Whap, whap, whap. Whap, 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 whap. <laughs> Come on. Why would you put it on a table with an incline degree of 20%? <laughs> Here's the most precious tension out of all the band. I'm just gonna place it here on the table. <laughs> Where is he? Wilcox. He's all torn up. Wait, who was it? Yeah, but I think he had to remove good, it from that guy's spine, no and I good. don't think he survived. He's been dead for hours. Well, let's notify the sheriff. All right. I think that's the body we just found. <laughs> don't call me sheriff. Oh. I hate that design on that chair. <laughs> You can clearly see the window was made of cellophane. <laughs> uh, by the way, that it was amazing serendipity. What the fuck did he throw in his face? in the face and a, and a and a knife to the back? Who knew monkeys were so easy to kill? For sick sake, they had to shoot King Kong down with a bunch of bipeds. No, he is not going to use monkey spinal fluid on that poor girl. Eh, close enough. <laughs> Hey, Doc, what's up with the giant hole where your window used to be? <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? Oh. Yes, Jane, we are safe. 
If you had a tongue, Only I'd have to remove it. Dr. Adrian is really going to cure me. Well, if they hurt you, how can you be getting better? Oh, you don't understand, Danny. They never hurt before. There was no they feeling at all. They were dead as doornails. Now they feel alive. Just the same, I don't like it. I don't like things I can't understand. Well, I don't understand <laughs> either, You must not Danny, like a lot. <laughs> I believe in him. Oh, I have so much faith in him, Danny. He says I'm like a daughter to him, and, well, I know he wouldn't hurt me unless he had to. It's part of the cure. It's just he got said to I'm be. like a daughter to him, but then he said how much he admires Joe Biden. It made me a little uncomfortable. I'll try to believe too, please. But I'd rather carry around all my life and have anything happen to you. I'd rather have your vagina be as dead as a stone than have to worry about trying to make you come. Walk, she could walk her way to other men. There's no way I could survive that. Zippity da, zippity day. Oh. Hello, Sheriff. Any luck? Not yet. But we'll get him. Well, I hope so. Come on, boy. Come on. There, uh. it looks like they picked up a scent. Uh, here, I took the liberty of picking up your dog's poop. Well, what got into him? Hold on for a minute, will you? Yeah, you got your mouth. Hello, Doc. Hey, I haven't seen anything of that ape, have you? Well, no, I haven't, Sheriff. Well, my dogs just acted as if they'd picked up his scent. Oh. Well, I better be careful. Huh? Yeah, you better be. Having trouble with insects, Doc? Yes, uh, this is just a little mixture of my own I'm trying to get rid of them with. Well, if it works, let me know. My yard's full of them. Certainly will. You Thanks. are one hell of a police officer, Sheriff. <laughs> Wait, he didn't kill the monkey? He just stabbed him? <laughs> Why is it walking so much more human like right now? Henry, supper's ready. Are you going out? Yeah. Oh, but I made lamb stew and dumplings. I don't care for lamb stew and dumplings, thank you. Besides, the sheriff wants us out early to capture that ape. You needn't lie. I know where you're going. Oh, you do? Yes. Everybody does. So you've been listening to gossip, eh? I can't keep people from talking to me and telling me you found a new interest. Suppose I have. Well, there's nothing I can do about it, I guess. Well, keep that in mind. But if you just wouldn't carry on here where we live... You know what, lady? You have hands like thought, uh, um, sandpaper. I need a Even little food Even if you go depressed. somewhere else. Why don't you try going somewhere else? But I have no one but you. I have no folks. I've got no place to go. You've got the river. Don't you do it! Whoa! That comment was so cold it made the film break. Oh, it's it's the karma ape. <laughs> what the hell is going Poor on? Mason, I feel sorry for his widow. Oh, she's better off. Oh, that ain't funny when a man's been clawed to death. I didn't like him when he was alive, and I don't see any reason to like him when he's dead. Just the same, it ain't right, even if he was no good. We gotta give that ape credit. He only picks out the ornery cusses. <laughs> what makes you think you're safe? <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, you got That's yourself true. some rest today? About 40 wings, we're plum tuckered out. Well, maybe we can get some more people in to help us out. Why don't we go out in the daylight? Because he don't come out in the daytime. The circus people told us we'd never get him then. We got to catch him prowling after dark. Think he's still hanging what? around the village? He got Mason, didn't he? 
And we found new tracks up around Dr. Adrian's house. Oh, give me a sarsaparilla. <laughs> give me a sarsaparilla. That's my ape hunting drink. Uh, sausages? <laughs> What do you think of that, Sheriff? Even the dogs don't like him. Well, what got into him anyway? Acting the same way around his house. Don't make sense. Maybe it's because the doc looks so much like an ape yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for joking. All of you be on the job tonight. Uh-huh. Playtex Living Gloves for your mad scientist needs. I'm scared, Mrs. Clifford. <laughs> I know she when she can almost. walk, she's going to dump my ass. I'm really scared. We must trust Dr. Adrian. But we don't know. He ain't got a patient in this town. People don't just hate a fellow you know, for nothing. It's easy Do to be doubtful him, when you've got no. working legs. It's not hating him. <laughs> Cocksucker. Francis is the way I do if anything happens to her, I'm going down to see. I gotta ask him. I gotta know. Gotta know what? You Daddy? just said you don't know Dick and you're a moron. Danny's worried, isn't he, Mother? Now you just rest, dear. Danny will be all right. Oh, my legs didn't hurt so. But I'm not afraid. You aren't, are you, Mother? No, darling. I want my little girl to walk again. God damn, friends, I could be home already if I didn't have to walk around the damn yard. You ain't going in there, Doc. Now, what is this, what? Danny? Who is I'm this scared tough about her. guy? <laughs> I gotta know what you're doing. Well, surely you want her to live a normal life like other people. Well, sure, as long as nothing happens to her. Yeah, he literally I hates her the, the way universe. She is, Doc. He doesn't I can understand take care of her. It. I want to take care of her. I don't want no experimenting on her. But Danny, I want her to be completely dependent if on me. Her, I could rid the world of I'm not in love with the world. I'm in love with her. I get it. She's just a guinea pig to you. Well, you gotta stop it. You gotta stop hurting her. Have you been to your garage today? No, I ain't. I've been too worried. Well, you take care well, of your car. Why don't you go and check your you socket wrench and take no a place. flying fuck at your tire I iron? Doctor. <laughs> and I don't know enough about what you're doing. But if anything happens to Francis... Nothing's going to happen to Francis. Now, this don't is like fear. people who still wear masks because of COVID. I don't know why, I don't like it, Here but I'm going to keep Danny doing it. And to hell with it. How do you do, Dr. Adrian? How is my patient feeling this morning? I'm all right. Would She's you change my blanket? Pain, it smells like Fritos. In pain? Oh, oh that's, that's good. Wonderful. Good. Of course it is. That's what we're looking for. Now, you prepare her. Work. <laughs> Danny just gave up on his whole stance. <laughs> You say the name is Mason? Yeah. Yes, Doctor. Initial H. Anything in your examination to go into my report? No, I believe not. Well, I just said the death is caused by a fractured vertebrae. I guess that about covers it, doesn't it? Yes, I, I should say that it would. The reason I sent for you, Doctor, is because you examined the circus trainer when he was sent north. And this case being a similar one to that, I thought probably in your examination that you had discovered something that I had overlooked to put in my coroner's report. I see. Huh? Uh, this Dr. Adrian, whose name uh, is on the death certificate, is he the local physician? <laughs> yes, if you can call him one. Folks around here don't like him much, though. And he was also called in on the case of the trainer? Yes. Yes, that's the same fellow. He came here during the paralysis epidemic. But the folks around here say that he experiments too much. Thank you very much, Donnie. Garner. Yeah, those damn scientists and their you've experiments. I believe you all the information necessary. That's fine, Doctor. Oh. Oh. Francis, what do you feel? Oh, my legs. They're hurting? Oh, they hurt. Have you more sensation than you had yesterday? Oh, yes, much more. And you think perhaps you could walk? Oh, no. No, they fucking then hurt. How am I supposed to fucking walk? Oh, I can. You can. Try. No. You can. 
No. Oh, you can. Guest, guest director no. Quentin you Tarantino. Can. I can't. You can. You can't. You can. You can't. You can. Oh, mother! Oh. It's working. Oh. Now you rest. You rest. And I'll be back later. Uh, maybe I'll bring you a Tylenol if I'm in the mood <laughs> for the pain. Mother. I, kn I know I'll be able to walk again. I know, baby. I know. These shoes were made for walking, and that's just what they do. Dr. Adrian? That's right. I'm Dr. McNulty from the Robinson Foundation. Hello. I tried questioning your yes. maid, but she was pretty tight-lipped. I had occasion to examine the body of a circus trainer who was killed by an ape here in this town. Yes, sir. I understand that you uh, administered to the wounded man before he they died. They didn't say, but I think I it's polio. That's why she can't walk. In spite of the spinal injection you gave him? I gave him no injection. I just came from viewing the body of this man, Mason. I dug him and up I myself. And I noticed a similar spinal puncture. Did you examine him also? I think we know who's going to get in, the next course, spinal puncture. <laughs> and you noticed no such puncture? Well, the body was so badly mangled that... Uh... Well, no, I didn't. I see. I understand they've had an epidemic of paralysis here. That's true. Many years ago, the Robinson Foundation found it necessary to expel from the institution a most promising young research worker because of his daring, unorthodox experiments with spinal fluid. It was 25 years ago, to be exact. Then you are that Dr. Bernard Adrian... They called Adrian, me mad, mad, who's they said. Well, who's mad now? <laughs> what you did to me, for 25 years, I've been engaged in proving those theories. By what method have you been doing this? Uh, by crippling dogs and then to fixing them. That at the moment. I see. Well, I'm afraid you leave me no alternative but to report. Wait. If I could give you some small measure of proof, would you change your mind? I doubt it. Let me show you. Uh, Francis, would you give this man a foot job? <laughs> I'll show you. I'm going to hit this hamster in the spine See? with a hammer. <laughs> and then well, these two creatures it. were completely paralyzed. But after my treatment, well, you can see for yourself, they're as lively and healthy as ever they were. This All this has nothing true. to do with the case. <laughs> but it has. The serum that I used. What became of the serum you took from those two men? Well, no, I just took spinal fluid. I had to mix it with other chemicals. Are you not paying attention? Look at the fucking hamsters. Will you come with me. Oh, my God, the hamster fell off the table. Oh, my God, the hamster fell off the table. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the hamster's going to need another Clifford. injection. Now, this is Dr. McNulty. How do you do, Doctor? I'd like to talk to Francis. Jesus. Oh, my God. No, I'm not asleep, Mother. How can I sleep Hello, when Francis. I'm in this unbearable oh. agony? But now, this child has had a complete paralysis of her lower limbs for ten years. Is that right, Mrs. Clifford? Yes, it is, Doctor. Yeah, animals were definitely... Have you had any feeling at all in your limbs since... Uh, Dr. Adrian has been treating you? Yes, they've been terribly heavy, and I've had a great deal of pain. Pain? Yes, and just a little while ago, I moved my foot. Is that right? That's right. Will you do it again for me? I can't. Make an effort. I can't. All of his evidence is completely circumstantial. Thank you. That's all. Did you even try, Francis? I think you'd better take her out into the sunshine. Jesus, her wheelchair is like an 18-wheeler. Is anything wrong, Doctor? Why, no, Francis, dear. Of course not. Oh, I hit her leg on the way out, but it <laughs> doesn't matter. Well, her foot did not move. But I did feel a definite muscular reflex. Congratulations.
May I notify the Foundation that, that you'll come back to us? Uh, will you give me fresh spines? It's too late. I have to stay here. At least give me your promise to keep us informed of your progress. Every step of the way. Thank you. Oh, and never mind about those two men you probably murdered in your quest. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? Thank God for the corruption of the American Medical Association. <laughs> I could not finish. I can murder with impunity. It's not finished. I know, we're only two-thirds of the way through this thing. <laughs> Just, the, the monkeys are walking back and forth. Gee, look, those. Do you see some? Yeah. Yeah, that's the white here. She's the white of his eyes. Jesus Christ, they gave little kids rifles? What is this, Arkansas? Willie is definitely trying to get killed. Oh, you got me! Oh, ooh. This is like when Pee Wee Herman gets spiked in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie. What kind of an ape checks to see if he's being tailed? I don't care no, how busy you I'm are, dear Halliday. It too. I want my Willie found. The idea of him wandering around. You have a Willie and you With can't find it? None of you men seem able to catch her. Oh, it's all your nephew's fault. He's always leading my little Willie astray. Well, he's always under Mickey's hand. Oh, he's not going to Oh, ladies, we've got Jesus Christ, I'm trying to think here. You, what am I at the be? view? Well, ain't nothing new. <laughs> have you looked down in Jones's barn? I caught him smoking there last week. Hmm. We've searched the whole town. Smoking in the boys' barn. They ain't far away. Sheriff! 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 Where have you been? Just a minute, Walker. We got him! We got him! Oh, what, what, what is it? Mickey killed him. He shot him dead. Bang, bang, between the eyes. Hold it, kids. What'd you shoot him with, Mickey? My 22. I got a good beat on him. Where's your 22, Mickey? He dropped it, Sheriff. I did not. The, the eight big pussy it. lost uh, his gun. I'll get you home. Ah, oh, gee, Ma, don't you believe us? Where'd Gee, you Ma, see? could you please straighten I'm out your hat? I'm getting dizzy. Doc Adrian's house. All right, get him home. Come on, Mickey. Come on, well, I'm right now. Oh, Mickey, you're, home. Home. Oh, you're so home. fine. You're so oh, fine. I lose my mind, eh, Mickey? They probably shot a cow. Yeah. I look into it. Where are the dogs? Red's got them over on the other side of town. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Was he creating a, a bullet wound? I want a word with the doctor. I'll be right out. Okay. But why would he be turning into an ape? I am really confused again. Is the doctor in? Oh, you can't tell me. <laughs> What is it with me and mute chicks and things? <laughs> First we had Mila in the hotel desk, and now this broad. Yes. Wait, what? She can talk. Well, good evening, Sheriff. Just I don't know. It looks like he was cleaning right. a bullet wound. Ain't been out, have you? No. I'm trying to think out, Doctor, a lot of things. So are we, pal. To take a fancy to your place. Now, don't take offense, Doctor. I'm just trying to clear up my mind. Them dogs of mine have been sniffing <laughs> ape for days. It's made them foolish, I guess. That's why they snarl at sure. <laughs> well, there may be some chemical odors on my clothes that offended them. Uh-huh. But I ain't never seen my dogs offended at anything. Can't understand it, Doctor. Not even at that Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> Jane! Uh, please stop this crazy thing. Just get me that torn coat of the trainers, will you? Now, this is an idea that's just occurred to me. I don't know whether it makes sense or not, but perhaps it'll explain your problem. Uh, 
You see, this coat was worn by the trainer when he was mauled by the ape, and it's been in the house ever since. Now, that perhaps explains the interest of the ape in this house and your dogs in me. No, then no, no, I'll bet you're right. <laughs> well, I'll it doesn't make a lick of sense, Take but I'm all for it. Take a few men around your house the rest of the night, Doctor, just so you'll be protected. Oh, don't bother, I'm perfectly safe, and they might interfere with some work that I have to do. Well, maybe I'll just keep an eye out myself. I'm just a bit scared, Doc, but don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> I won't tell you what you're a giant pussy. Good night, Sheriff. <laughs> This is the coat that trainer was wearing when the ape killed him. Boy, Just look at that. Look how he got he over there. One sweat. Well, come on now, boys. When this isn't getting us anywhere. If we lay down on this job, our own coats will be in the same shape. Come on, let's get busy. Now, you fellas get back um, to your positions. Uh, by the way, uh, I, I, this way. I, I swear this I'll is evidence, here. but I don't care. <laughs> I want to sniff some ape. <laughs> did you, why did you follow him out? You could have peeked at him specifically from the window. I can't fail. I can't fail. You can't fail? <laughs> what does that mean? Francis, dear, I want, I want you to the forget walking all mule. the hours you've <laughs> spent in this chair. Put them out of your mind. You're not paralyzed. You never were. Fasten that. No, Doc. I was paralyzed. Your Seriously. You're not paralyzed. No, I was. You'll do that for me. I'll try. Don't forget. I honestly don't You're know. Not and paralyzed. the worst part is that the the name of the movie now, is The Ape. Move your right leg. Move it. You can. Oh, I can't. Try, try. Stop you it, you're hurting it. I can't, Doctor Adrian. Try it, Francis. You can. You know you can. Move. There. You moved it, didn't you? You moved it. Now the left one. Now the left one. Now move it. Try. Move it or so help try me. I'll punch you in the goddamn stomach. There. You moved them. You moved them both, didn't you, dear? All right, then. Stand <laughs> yeah. up and take really? a step towards me. Do it. Do it. Doc, she it's can only your move. mind holding you in that chair, not your body. Do it, I say, do it! I can't! You see, I told you. Go get her some water. Oh, oh she's all right, up. Danny. She's better than she was, isn't she? She needs more. She needs more. Take care of her, Danny. I'll be back. Oh, Francis, darling. Francis. Oh, hey, the circus is back. Name's Halliday, sheriff over to Red Creek. Got a job finding you. Well, circus jobs are pretty hard to get, sheriff. Oh, all jobs are kind of scarce. You boys get that ape yet? That's what I come about. Didn't get him, huh? It's bad. He's a killer. You He's boys crafty. got some responsibility tracking him down, haven't you? Well, we did the best we could, Sheriff. The fire broke up the circus. Some of the boys stayed there, didn't they? Yeah, but that's not what I come about. I just figured when you're looking for something, it might help to know its habits. Too many things about this animal I don't understand. Well, animals is all alike. Lions, elephants, dogs, they all got one track minds. Well, what? these gorillas no. uh, live <laughs> it's off. not even remotely they true. Animal. Shucks, no, they won't touch an animal except out of meanness. They live on fruits, vegetables. Well, that's what's bothered me. What's feeding this fellow? Maybe digging up a garden patch or two or stealing a little bit of fruits. No signs of it. Checked with all the farmers. Do they no, prowl around he's much, eating or people. do they stick to one <laughs> you place? You idiot. Well, the gorilla <laughs> generally sticks to one place if he's got anything there to keep him. We see evidence that this fellow's hanging around one place. Hey, that ape had it in for the trainer. Where'd he die? In the house of a doctor near the outskirts of town, and that's the place we think the ape's been hanging around. Say, how would he uh, trace the trainer to that house? Well, sense of smell. They're pretty good at that. Did you bury him in town? No, he sent his body to his people up north. 
That don't give us much, does it? <laughs> Any of his clothes around? When that trainer was taken away, his coat was left in the doctor's house. Would that draw the ape there? It certainly would. You better get rid of him. I was afraid my time might be wasted coming over here, but I guess it ain't. Thanks very much, What about Mr. our Holly. time? Because this scene I made no sense. It road. just verified like something we already knew for. was bullshit. Anything I can do for you, let me know. <laughs> and next time you come, you buy a ticket, you skin flint. And science stuff. Uh, you gotta use your open eye, Frank. <laughs> Okay, here's my theory. He killed the ape. He skinned it. And he's wearing the ape suit to go out and kill people and steal spinal fluid. I can pick it after this. Just one more murder. Pete? You two boys go over there by that shrub. Danny? Take your men down there a hundred yards by that rail Wait. fence. Okay. Oh, Sheriff, we've been watching there every night, and so far nothing's happened. Now I'm Will you. Is that the same in? Danny that wants right. to fuck Francis? All right. You two boys go over by Wilcox's barn. Yeah, you mean Wilcox's barn? Yes, Wilcox's barn. Do I have to say it again? You mean Wilcox's barn? You two boys yes. go down the road a hundred yards. <laughs> you two wait for me over by that stone fence. All right, Sheriff. I'll hang out here by this banana tree. For a guy who everybody hates, the doctor gets a lot of visitors. Right. Is the doctor here? You sure of that? He's not in there. <laughs> I wish I got this lady got paid by the word. <laughs> Whew, sure is hot out here in this noontime. So I mean, uh, full moon. Say, sheriff, what's the idea of sticking around so close to the doc's house? Because that attendant told me that ape would haunt any place where that trainer had been. Oh. Oh. Hey, what's getting into that sheriff? He's getting touchy. Lost his sense of humor. <laughs> you know what a man Want a good joke? You resting your arm on the barrel of a gun, <laughs> you idiot. Wasn't this where we found the body? Mm-hmm. Uh, mind if I jerk off where I see the blood stain? Uh, do apes ever return to the scene of the crime? They're noted for it. <laughs> oh, really? Are you an ape expert? Well, we got something to look forward to. <laughs> Please stop resting your arm on the fucking gun. You're making me nervous. Oh, pardon me. I need your spine. <laughs> He brought a knife to an ape fight. You got me. Fire shot. Come on. Did you hear that shot? Yes, but you told us not to leave here. Where was he? That way. Oh, God, you fucking people. I'm finding it... Like... I'm wondering if this is, like, a comedy? Or, like... I mean, because this is, like... For a giant gorilla, he really is a, a giant pussy. <laughs> He gets stabbed and he's down. What is it? What's the matter? 
Did you fire that shot? Yes. It's Tom. The ape twisted his neck, but Archie knifed him. Can you walk? Pick him up and carry oh, him. All right. <laughs> Go on, get him. The ape twisted his neck. Away. Come on, get they out. They want to move him, but you he says he's come okay. With me. <laughs> Why is he limping? Because he's got a knife in his chest. Oh, next time I kill somebody, I gotta make sure they're unarmed. Oh. She's just sitting in the... I know. It's, it's amazing and confusing, he says. She's just sitting out in the yard at night. I don't know who Dr. the Ape is. I know who Dr. Ape yeah. is. Wait, does she live across the street? Now I am good. I thought she lived in the house. Oh, you got me. <laughs> oh, let me go. Don't stop me. No, no, Francis. I'll see what's happened. Francis. Don't stop me now. Let me give him one, Sheriff. Hold on, that's enough. He's done. Let's riddle this fucker with bullet, Sheriff. Darling, I don't know. They're saying you're never gonna walk again. Stop. Oh my god. All right, boys. Take that off of him. I was I swear Let to you go. guys. I never saw Let this movie. Go. I've never watched this movie. Let me throw. Doctor, Abe, Adrian, Doctor Aprian. I can't believe. How did I predict this? <laughs> How did they get the suit on? <laughs> Francis. Come to me, child. Walk. Walk so that I might fly. Well, great. Now the man who, the only man Walk. who understands how to make the serum is going to die, so. There. You see? He's ape Jesus. He's dead, boy. He's he's not Jesus, he's Rhesus. <laughs> he's Rhesus Christ. Hello, Danny. No way, Danny. <laughs> oh my god. Just a few more treatments and maybe I can walk a little faster. Honey, you you must know but do it. I'm doing better every day, Danny. Oh, sure. You're but now I want well, you on my on your knees, you baby. Take it easy. I'll get your chair. No, Danny. Mother and I burned the chair yesterday. I'm never going to use it again. But you have but no you idea want. this was an experimental thing by a dead scientist. Can you feel my thumb on your nipple? Yeah, that's the way you like it. <laughs> Literally, the ape. <laughs> it's been monkeying around. Okay. I'm gonna. Okay, <laughs> this is harder to comprehend than the than Hotel Dusk. <laughs> okay, let me let me break this down. <laughs> Oops, hold on one second. I gotta get that up there. Okay, <laughs> the the ape breaks in. The doctor stabs it, skins it, wears its suit. And goes out killing people to, to get a little spinal fluid. But. 
Oh my god. Um He was already killing people before the ape showed up? Or No. Okay, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> the trainer came to his house, he he sucked his spine out. The ape showed up and he skinned it, and then he went out hunting people. That's gotta be it. Like <laughs> that was so weird. Like, why call the movie The Ape? <laughs> like, The Ape had almost nothing to do. I will say, for the sake of argument, the second after, like, after the doctor stabbed the ape, it was walking around like a person. Like, when it was walking in the path and everything. Which was what made me make the joke about it being him in his monkey suit. <laughs> but also, he's like a 70 year old man. How is he killing people with his bare hands in a monkey suit? <laughs> and breaking their spines. I mean, the poor monkey. He only killed the trainer that was abusing him. Oh, and wait. The real monkey might have killed the second guy, too. Why am I studying this like this is a Bruder film? <laughs> we don't have to think about this this much. Alright. That was The Ape. 